Um, hi, good afternoon. Um, thank you for taking time to attend uh, this lunchtime webinar on Thai SDRs. My name is Ban Chong and I will be the host for this event together with my research colleagues from Philip Thailand. Uh, to recap, there are a total of eight Thai SDRs that are currently quoted on SGX, of which we added five Thai companies on 1st of April 2024. So I'm very pleased and honoured to have uh, with us my research, the research team from Philip Thailand to help us share and provide us with an introduction into six of the eight Thai companies. So the six companies are Kasikon Bank, Advanced Info Service, Delta Electronic, Syme Seaman Company, CP All, PTT Exploration and Production. Um, I also like to take this opportunity to remind Philip Securities is running a brokerage rebate campaign for Thai SDRs from 1st of April 2024 to 30th of June uh, 2024 for the eight Thai SDRs. So if you have any questions, do type them in the chat box and we can answer them during the Q&A. Okay, with this, uh, over to you, Adison. Thank you, Van Chao. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today, uh, Philip Thailand will uh, have the opportunity to introduce you the new batch of SDR. I will start with uh, five new, new SDR that uh, include uh, Advanced, Gao, SEC, Delta, and K-Bank. Now I pass on my colleague, uh, Kun Kitte, to present the Advanced. Can you see me? Ah, uh, yes, I see. Okay, next. Uh, after two and this uh, merge, uh, yes, two has uh, directly benefit from uh, expense of schedule base, uh, becoming the biggest mobile operator in terms of subscriber. In the first three years after two and detect merge, uh, there is a condition required from a regulator in Thailand. Uh, name is a Gosso Tosho or NT to maintain is a minimum price packet. So it hard to uh, for to uplift Apple compared with at one. The two and it have more adversely affect at one subscriber base as budget packet. Uh, will pass out in short term to mean by gain additional customer. Uh, comparing the see this picture. Uh, comparing the first quarter in 2023, uh, two subscriber base was the uh, 50 million number subscriber. It came to 51.3 in third quarter 23, but at one uh, packet, high, price packet are higher than two. So it's the uh, reason why at one subscriber base are declined in short term. Uh, comparing uh, in first quarter 23, at one has uh, only uh, 46 million subscribers and dropped to 44 million subscriber in third quarter uh, 2023 because uh, at one uh, using this time period for uh, clear low price customer great and keep higher value customer more than uh, true but in the fourth quarter in 2023 
I see at one can come back that at subscriber again. Uh, at one can add uh one hundred sixty seven thousand subscriber number. So at one had a uh, end of fourth quarter twenty three is a forty four point six million subscriber. So uh, if I can uh talk about conclusion at one and key highlight uh we recommend by rating on F1 because I had a target pie in this year is a 252 baht per share. Uh, light off is a year on year profit growth expectation for first quarter 24 and comparing valuation we expect uh, at first quarter profit to be higher than what is achieved in first quarter 23 yeah and finally i have t highlight from at one first at one has a fully quarter contribute from a recently acquired uh tbnt broadband second at one has a apu uh, boost and subscriber will come back net at additional subscriber because uh, uh, after at one clear low price customer and third as one had a strong people goal in core business model and in core business uh, mobile mobile business from a uh, license to list to listen a level in Thailand thank you uh, sorry yeah. I never share my slide this is uh, about uh, uh, structure in uh, at one uh, comparing uh, before at one has a fit work band uh, merge uh, and in, in the in the in the left and in the right after at one merge with the first quarter but it's not fully but if uh, fully it will be uh, 13 13 percent uh, in fit work band Okay, and next is a cow. Thank you. Uh, next. Next company is Graph. Uh, Graph or Graph Energy De Development uh, Public Company Limited. Uh, Graph is a holding company that invests in a, a portfolio of core businesses, which can divide into three business. The first is energy business. Uh, the second is infrastructure business. And the third is uh, digital business. Uh, this year, Gulf, uh, the power plan business of Gulf is ex expected to add more than 2,500 megawatt uh, in capacity supported by uh, the COD of new projects, particularly IPP power plant with a capacity of 2,100 megawatt alongside solar farms. Graph uh, are expected to remain attractive in second half of this year. Due to the demand of new power plant uh, in Thailand, uh, considering the con country's living renewable energy de development plan, as you see in uh, this table, uh, we still need more power plants with a total production capacity of more than 10,000 megawatts especially solar power due to its due to gas capacity and expertise 
Gov has a high potential to participate in a bit for new uh, power plant project. Uh, okay, uh, this slide is an uh, investment highlight. Uh, number one, number one, uh, GAP is uh, the most attractive, both in the long, uh, uh, the short run and the long run. Uh, number two, GAP is expected to be less affected by government policy than its peers. And, uh, and number three, uh, Power plant stocks are expected to be to become more interesting if there is a policy interest rate reduction in the in second half of this year or, or next year. Uh, there is a of uh, sub energy. Okay, and next slide is a uh, SCC. SEC or the Siam Cement Public Company Limited. Uh, SEC is a holding company engaging in the industrial supplies and construction uh, industry. SEC operates three core business. The first is a CBM or cement uh, materials. And the second is a, a chemical business, and the third is packaging business. For CBM, uh, cement building material business, uh, offer a complete range of related products. And SEC holds the largest market share in Thailand cement industries. For chemical business, chemical business of SEC involves the uh, production of high value plastic resins, which is uh, the key material used in the manufacturing of various pack packaging and everyday uh, products. Uh, for the example, uh, cosmetic bottles, uh, milk, milk bottle, and uh, electrical appliance uh, pass or uh, car pass and packaging business for packaging business SCC is the, the, lead, the leading producer of fiber based packaging material and packaging paper in Asia uh, and this slide is an investment highlight for CBM or Cement building materials business. Uh, this, this business is expected to be to benefit from uh, the state budget in second half of the year. And for cement, uh, for chemical business, chemical business uh, is projected to see improved profit as a China economy recovery. And the last is the packaging business. Packaging for, for packaging business is uh, expected to be increased for two key factors. Uh, the first is uh, ASEAN country demand growth, and the second uh, is paper cost control. Uh, this this is our uh, SEC. เปิดไมค์ตรงไหนอ่ะ <laughs> 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 
ปิดไหมยังเนี่ยมันมันไม่มีอ่ะเปิดอยู่ Delta Electronic Thailand Public Company Limited or Delta is a subsidiary of Delta Taiwan the firm has the third largest The firm has the third largest market capitalization in the stock exchange Thailand. Delta Thailand is a manufacturer and exporter of power supplies and electronics equipment and parts. The company is one of the world's leading producer of power supply and electronic components. That include DA fans, EMI filters, and solenoids. The company business are now mainly involved in power management solutions. Delta current power management product like cover variance types of power supply, including power system for information technology, telecommunication. Industrial application, office automation, and medical industry, and power supply for servers, networking, and DC-DC converter. Presently, Delta extends to cover renewable energy such as solar power, electric vehicle, and hybrid electric vehicles. Delta divide its products into three main business groups, consisting of one, power electronic group, two, industrial automation, and three, infrastructure. The first business group is power electronic group. This part is the major contribute contribution over eighty percent of total revenue. This group has power and system category is DC power, computer and networking power, industrial power solution and custom design power, micro mobility power. Second category is fan and thermal management and Third category is electric vehicle solutions. The second business group is industrial automation is reliable automation products. And the last business group is infrastructure group, include telecom power solution, EV charging, and network solutions. Main customer is in North America, 29%, Asia, 36%, EU, 22%. Power Electronic Group is contribute to 82% of total sale revenue in 2023. And total sale in 2023 Three, grow from power electronic key factor drive from EV car component. Net profit grow 20% year on year in 2023. In 2024, Delta have new capacity increase 30 to 40% production of EV car component business. First production line in the second in the second quarter of this year, which key factor grow on EV business in this year? EV car is trend of clean power technology. Demand is growth, growth faster. SIA president said global semiconductor market grow two digits in 2024 compared to 2023. Delta have DC power business louder on cloud system to support demand expansion in AI. 
we forecast net profit in 2024 growth is 7.5% year on year. Delta is a third largest firm in the stock exchange of Thailand in terms of market capitalization, amounting to 873 million baht. It currently trades at PE ratio of 49.6 times, the largest among electronic stocks, followed by KCE 27.7 times and HANA 19.9 times. Delta report year-on-year -year net profit goal in first quarter of this year, driven by the expansion of its EV-related business. However, it net profit we can Q on Q attribute to a decline in gross profit margin due to inventory provisioning and a drop in raw material cost. Thank you. The next is the last stock of the new batch of SDR is uh, K Bank or Gascon Bank. K Bank is a commercial bank with a universal banking platform. It provides a full range of financial products and services, including banking, security, funds, insurance, and asset management. The bank now has a Eight hundred and nine branches and ten thousand nine hundred and three sales service channels. K Bank is uh, has set up Casicon Business Technology Group or KBTG, which is the fintech that provides innovative financial product for customers. In addition, it has formed several joint ventures with partners to boost its business strength. It works with Alipay to develop a payment system through Line app and provide loans via Line app. KBank is a leading creditor for SMEs, having a 29% market share in the SME loan in 2023, despite having high list SME loan offer high yields. KBank's name stood at 3.7% in 2023, exceeding the average net interest margin of 3.44% among four major banks. So far, KBank is the only bank to have the successful established a joint venture with an asset management company. Aligning with the Bank of Thailand's policy, KBank and JMT, a major AMC, founded JKAMC, which started operating in third quarter 2022. By the end of uh, 2023, KBank had transferred NPL worth 78.4 billion to JKAMC, and JKAMC aimed to achieve 300 billion worth of assets under management by 2025. KBank is a well-known and attractive stock for foreign investors. In 2023, banking stock saw NVIDIA trading worth 850 billion baht, with KBank accounting for 260 billion baht, or 30.3% of the total trading. This is the summary of the rating and target price of the New batch of SDR. S1 we rating by and target pi at 252. Golf rating by and target pi at 58. SEC rating by and target pi is 200. 
90 delta relating accumulate and target type as 74.5 bar k bank years old relating by and target type at the 144. Next, we move to the O batch F of SDR. We will uh, we will update three of SDR, AOT, CPO, and PTT EP. I will start with the CPO. CPO operate the convenience store business under the 7 Eleven trademark in Thailand, Cambodia, and Laos. CPO holds 59.92% stake in CR Macro, which conducts both wholesaling and retailing business in the country and overseas. In 2023, CPO benefit from the rebound of tourist and import purchasing power, increasing by increasing same store sale growth by 5.5%, and bringing the average daily sale per store to 80,000 baht, up from 77,000 baht in the previous year. The number of customers per store per day rose to 965, up from 916 in the previous year. Spending per ticket dropped slightly to 83 baht, down from 84 baht in the previous year. CPO has a strategic plan to forestall expanding. In 2023, they expand more than uh, 707 branches. And it is ramping up its store expansion in province to take advantage of the growing purchasing power in the upcountry. Overseas, uh, CPO has obtained license to operate business in Laos and Cambodia. The number store of stores was increased to 82 stores in Cambodia. And the first launching store in Laos has continued to receive favorable feedback. CPO has a uh, three store in Laos now. CPO has explained a negative cash conversion cycle reflecting effective cash management in the that could support a future store expansion. CBR 7 event is uh, perhaps uh, regarded as a small retail store, which uh, could be eligible for the 10,000 baht digital wallet chain. Therefore, CBR is expected to benefit from this policy. Next, we move on to AOT or Airport of Thailand. Thailand has seen a rebound in tourism and the number of foreign tourists in 2023 reached 71% of the pre COVID 19 level in 2019. In third quarter 2024, Thailand will come. 9.37 million foreign tourists, representing 87% of the 2019 level, highly supported by the visa free regime and the approval of extended stay for tourists from China, India, Kazakhstan, Taiwan, Russia, and Japan. The level in First quarter 2024 were led by Chinese tourists with 1.76 million, accounting for 19% of the total traveler to Thailand. Most of them came to Thailand individually, while the gradual rebound was seen in the tour groups. The second position was tourists from Malaysia, and the third place was Russian. The fourth position was travel from South Korea and the fifth one in India. For 2024, the Tourist Authority of Thailand anticipates 35 million foreign tourists growing from 28.2 million in 2023, an increase of 
percent year on year. This 2024 level represents 88 percent of the 2019 leading. In the first three months of 2024, the number of foreign tourists reached 27 percent of the project level, although the number of Chinese tourists has not yet reached the 2019 level, the number of tourists from several countries exceed the 2019 levels, including India, Russia, South Korea, and Taiwan. The rebound in foreign tourists come in line with the monthly international flight passenger handled by AOT in 2023. The number of international flights Passenger reached 69% of the pre COVID 19 levels. From January to March 2024, the number reached 86% of the pre COVID 19 level in the same period in 2019. Supported by the rebound foreign tourists, AOT has shown the improvement improvement in revenue and profits. It returned to profitability in first quarter 2023 that ended uh, 2022. Looking ahead, we expected further profit growth for AOT on the back of the rising tourist number. Uh, next, uh, my colleague Nathanon will present the PTT. Uh, okay, uh, next next company is PTT EP. PTT EP or uh, PTT Exploration and Production Public Public Company Limited. Uh, PTT is a Thailand national petroleum exploration and production company dedicated to providing a sustainable petroleum supply to Thailand and the countries where it uh, operates. Uh, PDT East, PDT EP is a major shareholder uh, holding 64% of its total outstanding shares. Uh, PTT generated a uh, net profit of uh, 120 billion baht uh, in the last year. And PTEP uh, contributed 45% uh, of PTT uh, total income, as you see in uh, this picture. Uh, much of PTEP's revenue is derived from uh, sales of petroleum products. Uh, its product is can be uh, derived into uh, two categories, uh, gas and liquid. And gas account for around 70% uh, of its total sale volume. A uh, sale volume in this year is estimated to be uh, 505 KBOED, uh, driven largely by the, the L1 uh, gas project, uh, of which production has been ramped up to 400 mm SCFD to 800 mm SCFD in the uh, late March. Uh, uh, this is a uh, key level of uh, PTEP because uh, PTEP's profit depends on crude oil price. 
uh, this year oil price are expected to be at a high level uh, from the factor of supply control by uh, OPEC plus group and uh, the increasing of oil demand uh, along with the global economic uh, expansion. Uh, this is all of PTT EP. Yeah, it is. This is the summary of the rating and the twenty price of the OPEC and of SDR CBRV rating by target price at seventy four, LTV rating by and target price also at seventy four, PTTP we also rating by and target price at one hundred seventy five. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you. So, uh, thank you, uh, Addison and your team, uh, for sharing, uh, the uh, the various uh Thai SDR stocks that are listed, uh, that are quoted on the SGX. Um. So just to uh recap, uh, currently we have a total of uh eight. Thai SDRs that is quoted on the SGX board and uh, the prices of this are listed. The prices of all these uh, stocks are quoted in Sing dollars on the SGX. Uh, let, me, uh, let me share my screen now uh, to show you uh, how you can actually see the prices on the uh, SGX. Just give me a moment. This is our this is our independent uh, SDR website. Uh, the address is https triple uh triple w dot singapore dr dot com, and over here you will find all the SDRs that are currently uh, quoted on the SGX board. Uh, so, for example, in the SGX trading code for advanced info service, for example, the code is TADD. So, if you go into the POEMS website, uh, when you want to place an order, you type in this TADD, this stock will come out and this uh, this Thai SDR will come out, uh, Advanced Info Service, and uh, it will be quoted in uh, SGD. The prices. So this is one of the websites that uh, you can come to if you have difficulty in locating the SGX trading code. This is one where you can come and take a look and then you go back to your poems uh, website and you enter the code and you can find it over there. Uh, let me just uh, show you an example on the poems screen. Um, as you can see, this is the poems website and uh, based on the illustration I gave earlier, the TADD, uh, when you type in TADD, this AI is Advanced Info uh, Service the SDR will appear and uh, the last trader is at 0 0.72 uh, cents, Singapore cents. Okay. Um, can I, uh, the other thing I want to share is uh, currently we have, uh, we are running a promo, uh, brokerage rebate promo for SDRs. So as long as you trade any of the these uh, eight Thai SDRs that are currently uh, quoted on the HX board, uh, you will enjoy uh, free brokerage in the form of a brokerage rebate. OK. 
Um, are there any questions? So as you can see from uh, the earlier presentation by the research team from Thailand, uh, some of the stocks are trading uh, a very good, uh, especially for dividends, they are trading very good, right? So that is something that investors can consider. The other one is also in terms of the, uh, the, the sector in which uh, these companies are located in. So as for the Thai SDRs, when the when we offer these uh, Thai SDRs, we try to open up to as many sectors as possible, and uh, we pick the best uh, the best uh, companies within each sector to be represented, so as to offer investors, uh, uh, so as to be able to offer investors uh, good choices when it comes to these companies. Are there any other questions, any comments? Please feel free to type in the Q&A and then we can answer them. So for the Thai SDRs, right? Uh, basically, uh, uh, there are the buy and sell bids are made by the market makers. And so, uh, uh, this is something to take note of, right? The other thing that uh, I want to share is if you are subscribed to the Philip Morning Note, there is actually a technical uh, commentary uh, for all these stocks that we uh, that we comment on every month, and it is in the first week of uh, every month. So there will be a section that's dedicated to the technical commentary for all the uh for all these uh, Thai SDRs that we are covering. So uh for example, on first of April, um we uh there was a technical commentary um uh for all these eight uh so-called Thai SDR stocks. So it is uh, located in our Philip Morning Note. So it appeared on first of April. So um, going into May, uh, it will be the same thing. There will be uh, uh, monthly commentaries as well. And uh, all the research reports uh, that are presented today, they can be found in uh, the POEMS website under the SDR uh, folder, the SDR module. You can see the research reports from there. Any other questions? Okay, so uh, if there's no other questions, uh, we will end the session. So thank you again to everyone for attending and also a big thank you to the research team from Thailand for coming by to uh, share their views on these companies that they cover. So thank you again. And then uh, keep a lookout for our next uh, seminar, which will be on the uh, 15th of uh, May. We have invited Delta Electronics, uh, the, the head of investor relations. Uh, she will be coming by to present uh, the profile for Ele uh, Delta Electronics. And so it will give uh, investors a better insight into the workings of the company as well as the strength of the company. So thank you everyone. Uh, I hope to see everyone again on uh, 15th of May during the lunchtime webinar. Thank you.